Hello YouTubers, Larry here. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration for you on a loop antenna designed for the AM radio broadcast band. Just to show you what a loop antenna can do. This is one I constructed uh, very cheaply. It's made, um, the frame on it is about one foot across. And I've got about 26 turns of wire run in series with a variable capacitor, a 365 microfarad capacitor out of an old AM broadcast band receiver. And that's used to tune the loop to the frequency you're going to listen on. To show you what it'll do, let me bring a cheap transistor radio in that I have that I bought at a dollar store and uh, show you what it can do. This radio don't pick up much on its own. You can hear right now it sounds pretty quiet, just a trace of a signal. I have it tuned to WSM in Nashville right now, it's in the evening. You'll notice as I bring the loop close to the radio, suddenly we have a signal. Bring the loop out of the picture, it's gone, pretty much, just a trace. Bring it back into the picture. Now the loop antenna is directional and the signal is located in that direction that I'm receiving from Minnesota here. I'm in Minnesota and station WSM in Nashville is that direction. As I turn the antenna, you notice I can kind of null it out there. Actually the signal is probably about that way according to the null. And many times you can hear another signal that's in that direction or that direction on the same frequency as you turn the antenna. I'll turn it back. It's kind of the direction it's showing me the signal is in. Move the loop away from the radio. There you have it. Just a quick demonstration. You can also set the radio near the loop. Move it away. Station just about vanished. Many times it makes a lot of difference. So that's a quick demonstration of this basic loop antenna. Loops can be used on many frequencies, all the frequencies. So if you're thinking of building a loop, it's well worthwhile and easy to do. Have fun.